What's going on, boys? I want to introduce myself real quick before we even get into any part of the video. My name is Little Man. A lot of people call me AJ. Just want to welcome you guys to the channel. This is our first video ever. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is the background you guys are going to see for a while. We got Mr. Little Trouty in the cubby right there. That's our mascot. He brings us good luck in hitting and all the things like that. And then we have the Shohei Otani pillow. He also brings us good luck because he is an overall superstar. We love this guy. I've been playing him on the show for as long as I can remember. PS2 days. It's been one of my favorite games ever. Um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love baseball. I'm a crazy baseball head. Huge Angel fan. If you guys haven't uh, seen that already. Um, and MLB 16, I really started to, to develop my skills and become a better player. Um, I've become a top player, and I've stayed a top player for the last five years. I've gotten a lot of requests on how to get better, how to control your PCI, how to, you know, do all those sorts of things. So I'm finally dropping the video like I've said I would for a few years now. So let's get, let's get into it. Let's see if you guys, uh, if I can help you guys get better. Um, like mechanically, we're going to start off with uh, an average PS5 controller. This is the controller I use every day. I have a white Galaxy. I, I only use the low rise. I use nothing for pitching. <clears throat> um, yeah, and that's mechanically, that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to go in and show you guys my record. So I'm, it doesn't seem like I'm blowing smoke up your guys' uh, little booty holes. I am actually pretty decent at this game. Um, I am 153 and 18. Uh, 343 average, 365 on base percentage, and I slug a little bit. Good OPS. We're, 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 we're doing it. I want to show you guys my settings before we get into the actual hitting tips part of the video. Uh, as far as, obviously I'm going to be hitting on Legend. I use Strike Zone. Um, this is the only one I, in good faith, can recommend. I haven't ever used Strike Zone High. I know a lot of other people use it and they like it, but I'm more of a Strike Zone guy. Um, it's preference, but I would most likely stick to strikes on if you're really trying to get good at the game. In play view offense, this is just something I've used forever. Um, I know exactly where the ball is being hit. I know if it's going to be caught, if it's going to be into the gap, if it's gone. It's just, it's a nice one for me. I really like it. I would suggest using it. It gives a good view of the field while you're playing. Um, obviously button, buttons, we're using zone. We're going to use the left analog to aim the PCI buttons to press X. It's uh, fairly, fairly simple. As far as our PCI, we use diamonds, just diamonds for now. I have messed around with uh, wedge in the past. Last year, I exclusively used wedge and diamonds, but this year I found more success ro rocking the just regular diamonds, nothing else. I'm old school. I'm probably one of the, the older top players in the community, so I like to rock uh, that just the plain yellow one that we've always had in all the other MLBs. Don't like to deviate from that. Kind of superstitious. PCI transparency, 60%. I don't like it too bright. I don't like it too too uh, dark. So I think 60% is a good medium for me. Um, I can still see the ball. I can see what I'm trying to do. Let's move on to the BP where I'll show you how to... Practice. We loaded our roster. Now we're going to do sliders. If you guys want a roster, um, all you need to do is go and copy the attributes from the certain DD players. The certain DD players, you make them exactly like they are on one team and you trade them over to um, another team. I did this by myself. Um, there's also another roster in the vault if you don't want to do it yourself by J.R. Strohs. He has all the uh, all the tools that you need. The players, they got, all got the outliers. But I ended up making my own, so this is what I use right now. Quick intermission from your boy. When it comes to the sliders, I only put fastball all the way up, and I leave the off-speed alone. If you turn the off-speed down all the way, it's going to mess you up for online, so I wouldn't suggest doing that at all. That's your best bet at trying to learn how to adjust from fast to slow. Okay. Before I get into trying to hit, I want to show you guys um, what my kind of line of thinking is here. 
So just like in regular baseball, you kind of want to do everything the same over and over. If you have success or something, you want to just keep doing it. So um, I stress PCI placement and starting PCI um, really high. Okay, what I do is I start my PCI high and in, just a little bit high and in. It keeps my um, it keeps me from dropping on pitches too far down the middle. Allows me to get pitches inside, outside, middle in, middle out. And I think it just really works for me. You could put your PCI anywhere, but this is just what works for me. Um, and where I start my PCI is where I start it every single at bat. I want to make sure everything is the same. Uh, I want to develop muscle memory to get to every single pitch. So all I have to worry about is timing. And we'll work on timing right now. This is how we're going to work on timing. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go to we're gonna go pick our pitcher. We're gonna pick Gratterall. Gratterall is the um, is basically Edward Cabrera. I know you guys, if you were looking for hitting tips, you faced Edward Cabrera before. This dude is an absolute demon. He's crazy good. I um, and I just like you guys, I want to get as much practice against him as possible. So my advice right here is to set it up like this you go to batting you pick him you pick a right-handed batter you pick sinkers and you do all three on the left side because as a batter you need to learn this is just my my mindset you need to learn to take away one part of the plate if you don't take away one part of the plate you're in trouble because you expose yourself to everywhere else once you take away that inside sinker the inside fastball from these players they're going to try to pound you places, going to try to pound you uh, areas like away, um, up and away, uh, all sorts of away off-speed stuff. And if you, if you notice that, then you can start making your adjustment to where, okay, now I'm going to start hitting stuff away. It's, it's, it's like a cat and mouse game. You just, you just got to be on it. As long as you can start by taking away one part of the plate, you're going to be okay. So what we're going to do is... We're going to load up a game, and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly where I start my PCI. Okay, so we're back. So I'm not going to swing right here. This is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to start my PCI right here. That's where I start it every single time. Um, it'll change when I'm, when I'm facing a lefty, which I will show you guys after this. So I know this is fastball coming. I'm sitting on it. Obviously, the pitches are coming in 175 miles an hour, which is good because you're going to end up having to catch up on, catch up to it. So what you're going to do, you're looking for a sinker, boom, smash it. So you work on that, you work on the timing, you work on the PCI placement. So what I've noticed through the years is a lot of top players have like a little hitch when they're swinging, when they're like getting ready to swing or for their timing. So some players will shake their PCI right before the ball will come. Some players will pull down when uh, it's time for the ball to come. Me, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit different. I'll start the PCI same spot. I will flick up and then and then try to unload. That helps me with my timing. It also helps with my PCI placement. As weird as it sounds, it keeps some movement, looseness on your PCI so you don't try to slam it. You know what I mean? Because if once you start slamming, you're going to be in trouble. You want to always be under control, ready to make small, precise movements. Because once you start slamming, especially on the higher difficulties you're going to be in trouble, okay? So that's what you want to do. Eventually, once you start getting good with the... Once you start getting good against the sinker, like, okay, you're getting the timing. Righty, righty. What you're going to do, hitting zones. You're going to make... You're going to click all of them in. You click them all in. So this... Now you're going to get only fastballs, but you're going to get... Uh, or you're going to get only sinkers, but you're going to get them as strikes. So now you're working on hitting everywhere. You're working on getting your PCI up, down, left, right on a sinker. So once you get to that, once you start developing the timing for that and the PCI placement for that, then you move on to other swings. Let me see if I can get you guys a good hit right here. Oh, a little fast, a little fast. But this is what I mean. It's very good practice. Even me, I just played Legend. Um, on my stream a few minutes ago. And if you don't follow me on stream, you're missing out. Um, it's very it's it's very hard. This, this BP is challenging. It's going to be very challenging. 
you know, there's there's not not a bad hit. So you, uh, it's gonna be very challenging. So don't get discouraged. Do not. That's my biggest thing. Don't get discouraged. Eventually, you're gonna start timing it up, and once you get online, it's gonna be a lot easier because the pitches are not gonna be coming in this fast. This is way faster than online. So what we're gonna do now, right? So then you start adding other pitches and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but this is what I just do. I, even if you don't even feel like swinging it, right? Just work on your PCI placement. Track the ball. Track the ball. Track where it's going. You know what I mean? Track it. See what pitches. You don't even have to swing. If you're not comfortable swinging yet, just track the ball. Get your PCI used to, to where the ball is going to end up being. It's all about that developing muscle memory. So we're starting our PCI. Same time. Every single time. Little flick. Ready to hit. You know what I mean? Easy as that. Um, just work on it. If you guys want to do the flick, just I would just... You guys don't have to do the flick. You just need to make sure you have a uh, timing mechanism, I think. Especially this year with how fast everything moves. I think it would be a good idea to work on a flick or a timing mechanism um, for you guys. So I'm going to explain the next thing. So you, so you practice Edward, right? You Say you got Edward down. All right, you struggle against lefties as a righty. So this is what you do. What you're going to want to do against a pitcher like Cliff Lee, is you're going to want to do the same thing. Um, you're going to set the, the arm side sinkers away because they're, they're very good this year. A lot of people on mine, you're going to see that. It's, it's tough to hit. So you need to get used to it. So you bump up the, sl the sliders. You face a righty versus Cliff Lee, and you try to hit the ball as best you can. So, boom, there you go. That's our hit. That's what you're trying to do. You want to push that ball the other way. Don't try and yank off of it because a lot of the time you're going to beat it into the ground and it's a double. It's a double play. You don't want to do that. So, just like with the Edward one, what you're going to do is you're going to add all the all the zones again, add all the zones again, and then you practice hitting the sinker. Once you feel comfortable with hitting the sinker, then you go on to adding all the other pitches and you just practice like that. So I spend 10 to 15 minutes a day in this BP doing things like that, trying to get better, trying to work on my PCI placement. One of my friends um, told me that if you really want to get good, you, you need to treat this BP like a, like a live game. Don't go through the motions. Treat it like a live game, and you'll get better. So that's basically what I try to do. So what we're going to do next is lefty-lefty. Lefty-lefty. You want to do Chapman. You're gonna face him a lot, and you're wanting gonna you're gonna want to do David Ortiz. He's a staple in my lineup. Um, I really like him. I really like his swing. And what we're gonna do is the same thing. All inside fastballs. You work on it. Um, you practice trying to hit the baseball. Fastballs in. Try to pull them. This is all we're trying to do. Again, we're starting with my PCI in. Uh, just a little bit. We're gonna do our little hitch. And we're going to try and hit the baseball. We're going to practice. Like I said, it's very hard. It's even, it's very difficult for me to do still. And I just practice and I practice. See, you eventually get it. It's very hard, but it's meant to be hard. Because once you get to online, you're going to be ready for these pitches because it's not going to come in as fast as what this is. This is, I, I want to say like two or three times faster than what you're going to see on Legend. I, I want to say that. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. And that's all you're trying to do. You're trying to build your muscle memory. Like I said, you're trying to add the little timing mechanism, which is my flick. And you just, you run through, you create your pitches, you use hitters that you use on your DD team. You could create them in the roster and trade them over. Or you can go and download a roster in the vault and try to, uh, to find a roster that has all your, your DD players. I know it sounds simple, and it sounds easier said than done, which it is. Keep in mind that this is going to be very hard. you got to practice. Um, it's not going to come in one day. Just practice a little bit every day. You're going to be ready for it by the time you, you jump back online. You'll be used to hitting like this. Um, the game is very hard this year. The pitch speeds are crazy fast. The movement is a lot. The PCRs are very tiny. These pitches are nasty, dude. So if you can get as much practice as you can, 
Because this game is all about reps. You just need to get reps. If you can practice as much as you can, the better you will get. So just what I, what I'm saying is don't get discouraged. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be something where you sit down for 15 minutes and you're like, oh, I'm all of a sudden good. I'm trying to prepare you guys, give you guys a mindset of what I'm trying to to teach you guys. Um, that's about it as far as hitting. I gave you guys my mechanical stuff, my settings, my controller. Gave you guys how I get my timing, where I start my PCI. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I just want to give you guys a quick little video of how I got better and how I'm continuing to try to get better. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and if you made it all the way to the end. Let me know. Please hit me with some comments. Please hit the like button. This is my first video ever. I know it might be rough, but please stick with me. They will get better. Um, I'll have my links to all my socials in down there below. Just uh, comment if you have any questions uh, about any of the information I gave you. If you guys would like a pitching tips video, I can always go into depth on that. I know a lot of people want to know how to pitch, how to use Pinpoint. So let me know. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, boys.